Hello grade 5. Last week you watched a video about vascular and non-vascular plants. Today we will learn more about mosses that are non-vascular plants and about their life cycle. Plants are divided into two groups based on their characteristics. We have vascular plants that have tubes and non-vascular plants that do not have a system for transporting food and water. Vascular plants are the largest group. They have a system of tubes that transport water and food. Also, they have true roots, stems, and leaves, as shown here in figure 1. Examples, fern, trees, and flowering plants. Vascular plants have tube-like structures that help transport water and food. Xylem tissue transport water and minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant, whereas flown tissue transport food from the leaves to the rest of the plant. Non-vascular plants do not have a system for transporting food and water, and they do not have true roots, stems, and leaves. These plants soak up water and food from the soil, like a sponge. They live close to the ground to get nutrients from the environment. For that, they are much smaller than vascular plants. Examples, mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Mosses are non-vascular plants that have a small leaf-like structures, almost like a carpet grow in damp environment. They reproduce with the spores and are most commonly seen covering the forest floor or the trunk of the trees. Now, let's talk about the life cycle of a moss plant. First, there is no specific starting or stopping point in moss reproduction, since it occurs in a cycle. Once a spore lands on the ground, it develops into leafy form of the moss plant that make food and root-like structures to anchor them. This leafy form of the moss has male parts that produce sperm and female parts that produce eggs. During moist periods, the sperm swims to the eggs and fertilize them. Then, a thin stack develops, forming a fertilized egg. Again, a capsule grows at the end of each stack, and when it opens, the spore shoots out. Thank you so much. Now it's your time to observe the moss life cycle and do the worksheet. The questions are, indicate what happens if a moss spore lands in a good location when it shoots out of the capsule. The second one, if mosses do not have roots, what keeps them in place? The third, identify why there is no specific starting or stopping point in the moss life cycle.